state of the altcoin market. I'm the altcoin analyst. Nothing here is financial advice. Let's dive in. The first thing we're going to look at is Bitcoin. I've drawn out range highs and range lows. And so it's important to point out that we have been in an uptrend. And an uptrend is defined by a series of higher highs and higher lows. And we can see that right now, we are in a very, I think, pivotal point in the chart as it's either going to break the uptrend or we're going to continue higher to new all-time highs. Those are the two options. There's no in-between. I mean, I guess, <laughs> I guess we could probably consolidate in, in this range and not invalidate the uptrend and not break out. But I think eventually one of those things are, are bound to happen. And so why am I pointing out this level? Why is this level so important? Well, it was a previous resistance that we ended up breaking through and flipping as support. And so again, if this ends up breaking down, I'm my eyes are on range lows. Now, this is important simply because everyone is pointing to the Bitcoin spot ETF and having and saying we can only go up. But we've been in this accumulation phase since February or this distribution phase, whatever you want to call it. Now, I'm open to the idea of going up into new all-time highs, but if that is the case, and we do go into that left translated peak, I think there's not that much time left. Like, we don't have another two years of going just up only. <laughs> because we've been pretty much up only since November 2022. And Ethereum has kind of been up only since June of 2022. So we are almost on a two year run of just kind of up only. Now, I'm not convinced this is going to be the mania phase. There's a lot of macroeconomic headwinds. And so what does that mean for altcoins? Well, if we go to Ethereum here, we had this news over here of the Ethereum spot ETF. There is a lot of news uh, that are that's very positive for this Ethereum spot ETF. However, we did get a lower high. We didn't go up to a new all-time high and so if we go to the ETH btc chart i think this is a very telling of what's going on in this pattern now everyone is pointing to the fact that this is bottomed and, and they keep saying that but for the last two years of this uptrend it has not been good for ethereum against bitcoin bitcoin has been the winner and so you can probably handpick a few alts that in a short amount of time may have outperformed Bitcoin, may have outperformed Ethereum. But if we go over to the altcoin season index, I guarantee you, if you did not sell, those gains are slowly being taken away. Now, you might be asking, why are those gains taken away? Are they going back to Ethereum? Are they going back to Bitcoin? Are, are they pushing up the price of these two assets? No. I don't think they're doing either of those. I think with the altcoin season index, and we are now in a different phase of the crypto market, I think a lot of new tokens are coming onto the market. And I think it's a hidden tax that retail is being suckered into buying these extra tokens that are coming into the market as the price continues to slip. So your favorite altcoin, take your top five favorite altcoins, go see what their token unlocks are. Go see what tokens are coming onto the market. Go see how they're going onto the market. Go see what the time length is of their releases. Who's releasing? All that should be available or you should be able to find it. And if you can't find that information, I hate to break it to you, but you're probably in the wrong project. <laughs> so something to pay attention to. Altcoin season index is clearly going down. The way I like to look at this is a 90 day ROI time frame, a seven day SMA on a logarithmic price scale. This is kind of my bread and butter for one of the indicators I use for when to get into the altcoin market and when to get out of the altcoin market. Now, if we go to the Bitcoin dominance, this could potentially be a downtrend on the daily here. We can see that we have a series of lower highs. And again, not really a series of lower lows. So in my opinion, this doesn't really count as a 
downtrend per se. I would think this is probably more of a triangle pattern and maybe we should put this in a different color, this triangle pattern. Let's do, let's do blue, let's put it in blue. And so generally speaking, I tend to think the best time to get into altcoins is when the Bitcoin dominance is in a downtrend. Now I look for that downtrend on the weekly, but again, going to a smaller time frame again is helpful because we can see here that again, is this a deviation or a lower low? We'll seeing as we've touched it once, twice, several times over here, I, I, Probably I'm pretty confident that's a deviation and not a lower low. So that's something I'm looking at. If we go to the weekly here and I'll explain my reasoning. This is not a downtrend on the weekly. This is to me is not a confirmation of a downtrend on the weekly. And so I tend to think that we're probably going to go up. And the reason I say that is because if we go into a downtrend on the weekly, it takes a while for the downtrend to play out. Like to me, this would be classified as a downtrend. It doesn't, th this is too soon to say it, it's in a downtrend. Now, again, the reason I say that is because when the Bitcoin dominance is in a downtrend, that's an indication that the money is starting to flow back to the altcoins from Bitcoin from Ethereum. And so to me, that's an indication that alt season is around the corner or not around the corner, but I think within the next 12 months, we will see alt season when the Bitcoin dominance starts in a downtrend. And again, that's simply just looking at past patterns we had, or I guess I had this cycle in, in 2017, 2018, 2019. But again, there are some telling charts over here. If we zoom into the data over here, we look at the data over here. And I think this pattern is going to repeat. I'm not convinced we're probably like, I think it's going to be very difficult to say we're going up to plus 70%, but I think we'll probably go to 65%. And so right now, I think we have another 10% before we top out and start that downtrend and then probably consolidate for a bit before going off into that mania phase that Again, if the cycles play out as they normally do, will happen in Q4 of the year after the halving, which would be 2025, because in 2024, that's the halving year. Now, this could potentially be playing out longer. So I think this next crypto mania phase is going to be the biggest one we've ever seen. And that a, a lot of that has to do with the spot or spot ETF products for both Ethereum and Bitcoin. With that said, I think it's possible that it could potentially extend into 2026. And so a lot of, I think, indicators I'm looking at are the global net liquidity. It's going down. The money supply. Again, we ticked up quite nicely over here. But for the most part, it's still in a downtrend. I don't know that this tick up is considered a break in the downtrend. I think it will probably roll over again. We know that the Fed is lowering their assets on the balance sheet. All these things are not great for risk assets. And so when we put all that together, <laughs> if we're cooking a soup and we're throwing all these, all these indicators and all this data into the soup, to me, it doesn't su suggest that we're going into a mania phase this year. I could be wrong, but that's just how I'm viewing the market. I think we need to see the Fed cut interest rates. I think we need to see the Fed start printing money again. I think we need to see the Fed's balance sheet start to go up and, and switch from quantitative tightening to quantitative easing. And in my opinion, that would probably be the time frame that it would make sense to get into altcoins. Now I go low cap, I degen, not only do I speculate and go into and use protocols to, I think, build wealth. But I also like to speculate on the governance tokens, because I think if you get into the right governance token or the right altcoin at the right time and let the market do the lifting for you, there's just a tremendous amount to be made. Now, 
again, nothing here is financial advice. This is all in, all entertainment purposes only. This is only my opinion. I'm crazy. I don't know what I'm talking about. But with that being said, I'm not interested in the altcoin markets yet. I think I will be, though, very soon. I think the time to start sounding like everyone else is very soon. When I start telling people, it's up only. <laughs> Hold and just don't look back. Because uh, believe me, I will start sounding like your favorite influencer, but I just don't think that's it. I don't think we're going into that parabolic last phase of the cycle. And if we do, I think we've probably... It's going to be a left translated peak and Bitcoin will probably be the winner. As we can see from the altcoin season index, it's coming back down. Now, the other thing I like to look at is the social risk. As to me, this is an indicator of new liquidity coming into the space. As we see, it's going down. There's just so much hype right now around GameStop, around Roaring Kitty, around AI, around NVIDIA. NVIDIA is doing a 10 to 1 stock split tomorrow. So we have all these just all this attention going outside of crypto. And to me, because the attention's not in crypto, the money's not going to come into crypto. And so I think there's a unique opportunity for people who are really interested in finding value in the space. So I live by the words, let the market come to you. Don't chase the market. There's no need to. There's And if you're feeling FOMO that you've missed an altcoin, I'm telling you, there's thousands and thousands of opportunities in, in crypto. Like, the opportunities aren't going to go away. I guarantee you. If you miss an opportunity, I guarantee you there's 10 more that are coming down the line. So... Learn the space, start paying attention to how to navigate the space, build out a strategy that works for you. And with that being said, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.